What is up everybody and welcome to our all new mystery box opening. So these are the Walgreens mystery boxes. I haven't seen them anywhere else and we happened to come across these a few weeks back. Um, there was a lot of stock in the store. As y'all can see on the front of these boxes, it shows Gym Challenge and Holland Phantoms. Not too optimistic that that's going to be in these boxes, but we are looking forward to seeing what's inside. And guys, by the time this video goes up, we should have picked our winner for the EVV 10 from our Poke Red Pack opening video. But make sure you're subscribed to the channel because we do have some other giveaways coming up in the next few days. So guys, this is our very first mystery box we're going to get into. So the little backstory on these, the green ones are $12.99, the blue ones are $14.99. The main difference, it says there's two packs and then an online code card in the green and then a randomly inserted mystery pack. It doesn't say vintage, but of course, gym challenge, you know, right there. A um, little bit more kind of shows that on the back. They do have a disclaimer on the bottom of uh, both boxes. It talks about the packs are randomly inserted and the shown packs may not be contained within. So that might be where, you know, gives us a little bit of info. The only difference with the blue box that'll be coming up next is that there is going to be a mystery item in addition to the online code card. Um, so let's go ahead and see what's in this very first box. I would love if it was a, oh, a sea sword. Oh my gosh, are they always bent like that? So I had heard from some other people, Whoa. these, it's really funny. The codes are actually from pretty cool sets, but it's like they, what they happened? actually have taken like, I think excess basically packs and just bent them to put them in those boxes. Oh my gosh. You could at least take them out of the cardboard. I know. I mean, it, they literally tried to do about as little work as possible. It seems like. So What's it up? was vivid and darkness. That's right. Which is a set. With Poke Storm, that is a tale as old as time. <laughs> since we got so many, we're just gonna go ahead and go straight through these somewhat quickly since they are some familiar sets. Okay, Star Raptor is our rare. So, uh, rare. Yep, nothing Man, exciting. Man, if we get Charizard and... from a box like this. Oh. Or even one of the oh. Pikachus that we need from Vivid. I mean, that would be nice too. To be sure, I, I cannot believe they just literally shoved these inside the box. I know. With the cardboard it's on. like the boxes were too small for the cardboard, so they had to. Is just... every one of them like that? From what I've seen other people getting these, I think the green ones are. I'm not so sure about the blue. I don't really That's remember. That's what that extra two dollars. Yeah, they're like, oh, we that. actually took time to take these out. Yeah. So we are on to our Vivid Voltage Pack. So we have a Mudbray and. Oh, oh, wow. Okay. Hey. Hey, we can't hate on that. No, and it looks to be an okay shape. It considering does. Considering it, you know, went through a hurricane. That's right. A little bit off center, but you know, it's all right. We're going to put this in the VIP section that is not off the camera on the floor. Um, just thought y'all might want to know that. I'm going to push some other stuff on the floor, but we have a VIP no, section that is, is actually on the table. It is over there next to Bulbasaur. Yeah. So don't worry, guys. <laughs> No cards were harmed in the making of this video. That was something I said in our last video. <laughs> I think that people probably took to. <laughs> so we're gonna. She just kind of threw it off frame. <laughs> in fairness. So we're gonna move on to our blue box next. So this should have. Holland Phantoms. Here we go. Something. Oh, hey, Sun and is that a base set? Wait, is it just one? Oh, it's two. So we have our mystery item, and this one is a coin. Um, and then we got a breakpoint booster. And so you get sun. two sun and moon base set. Wow. Okay. I mean, well, you know, at least it's something hey, different. Th there's somebody who may be sitting at this table right now who's not a big fan of sun and moon. <laughs> no, I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Give me a hard time again, guys. That's a cute caterpie. Mm hmm. Makuhita. Makuhita. Chin Chow. Togunamaru. You got a Carvana. We have a reverse Passimian and 
Oh, okay. Gumshoes GX. I mean, at least it's hey. it's a GX. Yeah, I always like a GX car. Yep. So that was our rare for that pack. And, of course, we shouldn't have anything. Rare candy. To praise it in that one. And we will be moving on to our next one of Sun and Moon. I mean, it's always fun to open sets that, you know, we don't see as much. So, Sorry, not trying to give anything away with those codes, but they're all faced in different ways. Yeah, they never put them in there the same way, especially as you move through the sets like this. Togedomaru. Got a shelter with its tongue out. Makuhita, again. Got a reverse of that Caterpie and a Butterfree. That is a nice Butterfree That is a neat car. neat car. We got some extra little small Butterfree flying around. And just quickly through those other ones, we got Poliwhirl, Crushing Hammer, and a tour cat. So not too bad. So on to our next blue box here. Let's see what we got. I'm assuming in some, well, I see more sun and moon. I'm assuming in Same some point. of these, there's probably gonna be maybe some XY. All the code cards are XY. Yeah, that's what I don't understand. It's like, can you, can you give us a little XY? Even some evolutions, like that's on the front of the, all the boxes. Yeah. It would be nice, we'd appreciate it. There is the code card again. Snubble, Fero, Grubbin, Spiro, Alolan Grimer, Alolan Persian, and our rare is a Cosmon. Non hollow. I yep. do like the artwork. It is though. a neat har neat artwork. Very sun and moon appropriate. Yep, and so we've got energy. I don't know what okay, that was dust. I was about to say it was some random black spot on our crushing hammer. And a Dragonair. That's a neat artwork on that. Mm -hmm. So on to our next pack of Sun and Moon. The Sun and Moon era cards. I know just from us open those up, the uh, the pull rates can be very, very tough sometimes. Very painful. Caravana. Pick-a-peck. Sandal. We got a Snubble again. Firo. A Reverse. Big Malasada. And our rare is a Decidui. So, nothing out of this box that was too exciting. No. Grand Bull, Boldor, and a Switch. All right. On to our... Next blue box. Our next blue box. We are kind of breaking these up where we're doing some of the blue, some of the green. Oh, I guess we actually oh. got a card oh. this time. Oh, hey, we just pulled that. We did, from actually. From Rails Packs. Yeah, we did. So, at least we got a, a card. A I mean, more beat up. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's definitely been a little bent, bit. But, you know, at least it's something. It's, hey, I'll take that over It's the not coin. a coin. Another, what is it, Genesect coin? Yeah. Is that mm -hmm. another? No, that's actually a Sun and Moon Guardians card. Guardians Rising. So, we are just stuck on these Sun and Moon packs right now. And it's now. all just Sun and Moon base. Yeah, I mean, nothing against it, but we like a little bit more variety, maybe. Yeah, and there are some, I mean, there's some Sun and Moon sets. I feel like they have a little bit better pulls than Sun and Moon base. Oh, cute little pup. But yes, I agree. Wingle. We got Snubble. Carvana. A lot of repeats in these. A reverse Gigalith, and our rare is Incineroar. Oh, Incineroar. And we've got Energy, Kraka Raka Raka Raka, Pelipper, and an EXP share. EXP share. Speaking of an Incineroar, we're getting into an Incineroar pack. I can't really say his name. Incineroar. <laughs> I don't get it right. She's more of a Litten fan. I do like Litten more. No offense to Incineroar, but I have a thing about a lot of Pokemon. I think I like their like first form. I don't really like their evolutions as much. It's just I like small things. Makuhita. We got a reverse Lima. A Lima. Oh. Oh, Professor Kukui. Very, Very nice. nice. I mean, we'll take that. Yeah, for always sure. I've always liked this trainer card. Yeah, it's got a really, really neat texture to it. That too. is one of the neater cards. I feel. I feel like. From yeah, the I Sun definitely and Moon definitely think so. Put that in the VIP section. Energy, Pukamuku, Big Malasada, and Brion. A lot of Malasada here in the last few packs. So we are now going to be moving back to another one of the green... Here we go. Gym challenge. It's coming. If we talk it enough, it will come... I swear if you pull out two more... Oh my gosh! Come on! They really, um... They really look didn't... At, they didn't look at these packs! They really didn't try. And we got, that just hurts me. We got some uh, Battle Arena decks for Black and White Curum there. That hurts me so much. 
I mean, they really you like mangled gosh. these. And I understand it's just the cardboard. I but swear, if we get a Charizard V Max in this darkness ablaze and is bent and beat up and dusted, and, I we're mean, we're gonna have to contact MJ Holdings. I mean, I'd be, I'd probably yell just from getting it, from excitement, but then I'd be like, oh my gosh, it's a PSA the pack, for what I will say, the, the cards do not look like they're bent, um, but still, it's kind of disturbing. So we got a reverse Piers and a hollow rear Heatran. So okay. not, not terrible for no, darkness. No, not at all. We'll add that to our little VIP section. And Lele Ron, an old PC, and an Ariados again. Old... Old PCs. The PCs you. that were around when we were young. Yep. Back when you go to the computer lab. That's right. And learn how to use your old PC. You gotta do some Mavis Beacon teaches typing. That was where it was at, guys. Those those lessons you learn stick with you. I don't even remember what I did. I just remember playing. There was also was like another little, little typing game. There was another little something. game where you learned about like counting change that had like little coins and it made cute little what coin noises. What was the noises. thing on the PlayStation 1 that they put, that they hooked? It was like a, oh gosh, it was a, oh, ninja ass. Clearly we're, mm -hmm. you know, here. Churchester Bath. And Hit the ball on top. And a swoo bat. Swoo bat. Swoo bat. So we now have four more of the blue boxes here. Let me move those over. At least ones. with the blue, you know, you're not just pulling out ripped up cardboard. Oh my word. Another decidua? Guys, they really didn't, really didn't try too hard on these. There is just, I mean, it's fine, but it's also like, okay. Another, more sun and moon. I was hoping. We should have called this Sun and Moon base set opening. Box opening. Yeah. Bo but almost booster box. Almost or, or booster box. Or half booster 20 box. 20 boost opening 20? No, no it would have only 18? been 18, I think, of these. Maybe we'll get something else. We can at least get an XY pack. Well, no, it wasn't 18 because we only had seven of those. That's but true. But still, about half. They've got a shelter and crap abominable is our rare. Mm, R.I.P. Fairy Energy. That's what our poles have been. They really have. Abominable. But, you know, if you want to eat, I guess that's some type of food. A big malasada. That's that Bronx. That's what he made. Oh, uh, see. No, I, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. That's not. I, I that's, part, that's part of Bronx grit. I, I mean, I know that's a joke, but I really wouldn't know because I, ha I honestly haven't watched a lot of the older stuff yet. Okay, so we got a Cutifly, Chin Chow, Morlow, Skarmory. I do like that artwork. That is pretty Skarmory. cool. I mean, we've gotten that card yeah. before. I've seen it. Our but... buddy Caterpie again. We got a Reverse Herdier, our Rare. Oh. There you go. There you oh. go. That reminds me of some other sets. We're stout one, just, you know, he's everywhere. Come on, Walgreens. Got that Team Skull grunt. Yeah, not not hitting on too much today, guys. Oh, three more boxes. I guess, let's see, six more packs of Sun and Moon base. Maybe? Is, is that, this a Decidua? Is it really? Oh, no, it's no, Cinescorch. Cinescorch. Okay, I mean, you know, at least it's something different. I'll make sure I got everything. I would take even like a Burning Shadows or something at this point. Oh, what? Well, that yeah. actually matches what we're opening. Come on. Come on. I mean, we haven't gotten anything, y'all. And we do we did get seven of these. I actually, we got most of them. Hey, we got a, what was the golden rare from? Was that from one of the blue ones? The Galarian Obstagoon? Actually. Was that a green? I think that was from a green. And then we got that gum shoes. So I did go back another day and get a few more of these blue ones. Um, And so that's why we have a few extra. We got the same Dupiter we had earlier on in that pack. And, uh... Bruxish. Non hollow. Mm -mm. Well. Got some potion. Spinda. Steeny. I really, you know. I, I would be interested to know if anybody, if anybody's watching this and that has opened more of these and you've actually gotten. Something I, decent. Well, I won't even say like an evolution. If you've gotten something. Other than Sun and Moon Base. Yeah. <laughs> in the blue box. 
I would love to know, though, if somebody's actually gotten a Holland Phantoms or, like, a gym challenge pack from these. I feel like they need to give... This one doesn't even give you odds or anything of pool rates. So, we have a reverse Rotom Dex and a Stoutland again. Man, the pools are rough. They're really... These rough. last few have really been... We've got double colorless energy and a Grand Bull again. You know, I really... I mean, for $14.99, it's like you kind of hope you're going to get at least something... It looks, I see the, all right. Oh, oh. that's different. It's a- Reverse hollow anorith. Okay. Okay, well, I mean, that's- I don't really know if that's VIP uh, worthy, but- we'll, we'll give it a chance. Where's my, did I get a coin or something? Oh, that was the card, Never mind. So there is our code on that one. I don't know why, I guess I don't think that card is much of a um, bonus item. <laughs> or mystery item. But I will say, these don't guarantee randomly inserted vintage packs. It just says randomly inserted mystery packs. So yeah, they, they kinda... don't really guarantee much of anything. Mm -mm. And there's no pull rates, like odds or anything, as far as 1 in 25, you're going to get this. And there's probably a reason why they have so much. Got a reverse two cannon, and our rare is a Cosmum again. There's probably a reason why there's so much Sun and Moon uh, base set to put into these boxes because it's not a very hit filled set by any means. That's how we feel right now. Yes. That is the theme for this video here. Some wishy washy action. So we got another Incineroar pack here of Sun and Moon. I mean, I'm hoping for last box magic, but it's not looking too good mm. right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'll, I'll even take just something X and Y at this point. We got a Stuffle. There's Litten. Torkoal. Young Goose. Got a Reverse Hurtier. Ooh, it's Butterfree again. At least Butterfree's cute. It's not even like hollow rares. Like it's... Mm -mm. Yeah, been a little bit of struggle. Yeah. Definitely got those struggle gloves on again. No rice pools today, really. I mean, that gold car was pretty rice, but. Oh, guys, come on. Uh, it looks like the same coloration. Well. Wow. We at least got a Rayquaza coin. And that's the best thing I think we've gotten today, <laughs> other than the. And you know, what's funny is I've seen other people open these boxes and get like dice and like random keychains, but oh yeah, that's how true. we got coins and sleeves, how we got coins and just random reverse and some hollow cards, I, I don't know. It's very interesting. Um, all right, we got well, green code cards, so probably not. Probably not going to be anything. We will see. We got a Firo, Litten again. Young Goose, Snubble, Cloyster. Wow. Okay. Cloyster. Energy, Corsola, Pelipper, and Repel. Apparently, we are repelling the good cards today because that seems to be what's going on. <laughs> the only thing we can pull out of stuff today is bad puns. I'm no, I'm kidding. I think we both done it. <laughs> Oh, we got a green and white code hey, it's card. it's a green and white code card. Here we go. So we got that Alolan Diglett with those beautiful go. locks of blonde hair. Here we go with the pulls. Last pack magic coming Alo up. Alolan Meow. Coming up. Growlithe. Rog and Rolla. We got a reverse spend up. I see. Oh. oh I mean, it's still, it's a pre GX. Hey, GX. Hey. hey, look, we've only gotten two GXs today. We'll it take it. We will take it. At least that's sort of last pack magic. We got energy, our wishy washy that we're trying to cheer up, Hal, and a Dartrix. All righty, everybody. So, well, would not probably recommend these for your investment. Not if you're looking for anything rare, mystery pack wise, or. I do like that. I mean, I, again, we've gotten that Professor Kukui, but I do like that card. Yeah, that is a good um, one. Yeah, a couple GXs. The the green boxes is are they're the ones we actually got the Obstagoon from. But they so, are darkness and vivid, and you can definitely still find those packs out in the wild. Just be <laughs> careful because they are not going to be coming out in the greatest shape as you probably saw. Definitely about as bent up. A 
cardboard as you can see. <laughs> well guys, we hope you at least enjoyed watching the lack of pulls. Um, <laughs> make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and other than that, we will talk to you guys later.